President Gengob has declared the growing number of informal settlements a humanitarian crisis. This was also among the resolutions of the Second National Land Conference held in 2018. Government has given itself a deadline of about five years in which to eliminate shacks and local authorities have been advised to avail land for housing and to engage groups such as the Sheikh Dwellers Federation to formalize informal settlements. The Sheikh Dwellers Federation estimates that 995,000 people live in shacks in the urban areas of Namibia. Dr. Gengob told the Mexican diplomat that Namibia would benchmark and appeal for assistance from countries which have recorded successes in abolishing shacks and provide decent housing. We have to address that so if we can learn from others who already went through those kind of situations and we found out some ways, materials and so on that could be used to address such kind of situations, uh, we will be appreciative. But when do is not uh, getting smaller, uh, in, in next year is a census and I think by now we are already 400, so we are coming close to you. IPU President Gabriela Baron previously served as mayor of District Miguel Hidalgo in the Mexico City from 2006 to 2009, where she was instrumental in lifting thousands out of the slums and into decent shelter. Experience and knowledge in this area is equally important to us. We took care around, as you've seen, a number of he spent time in Spoko Moon, both his body and now Bento. So there are some things that appeal to her to say she would like to part some of the experience uh, to Namibia and see how we could work together. Baron promised as IPU president to strengthen capacity building programs with Namibia. She also vowed to promote bilateral relations between Namibia and Mexico after her term at the IPU ends in October. We are going to have bilateral programs because Mexico has CONALEP as uh, one of the most important institutions for vocational training and our Polytechnic National Institute, which is amazing not only for this kind of education, but they link it with entrepreneurship and incubators. So it's, it's very useful. Namibia was among the countries that fiercely lobbied for Baron to win the Inter-Parliamentary Union presidency in 2017. This given the historical role played by the then Mexican ambassador to the UN, Salvador Martinez de Alva, who served as vice chair of the UN Special Committee on Southwest Africa and undertook a fact-finding mission to Namibia in 1962. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.